146.2. I am light. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what I'm eating for breakfast now. This is basically what I eat every day. Um, it's extremely simple. Um, I just like to get some carbs in my system. And um, also some protein. I like to get my metabolism rolling pretty early. So this is what I eat right here. I get one packet of the instant oatmeal right here. It's not very much. Um, I'm going to get two because it's light today. So I'm going to get two. Two packets of instant oatmeal. I'm going to get one scoop of the Cellucor whey protein. I got the cake batter right now. So one scoop of this. Two uh, packets of instant oatmeal. And that's what I eat every single morning just to basically get my metabolism rolling. Um, that's also, I just like how it tastes. Hey, what's up, guys? I just got done with work. Um, so I'm leaving one gym to head to another gym to work out at. Um, the reason I do that is, one, because it's convenient. It's about four minutes away from my house. And two, um, it's really, it's usually pretty empty. Um, the gym I work at, there's a lot of people coming in and out. There's a lot of traffic. You have to wait on machines, um, different things like that. But place I like to work out at uh, it's pretty empty most days and hopefully that helps out with uh, being able to film I haven't asked anybody if I'm allowed to I just kind of I'm just gonna kind of do it uh, if they say anything to me about it then I'll try to hide it a little bit but right now I'm just gonna go in uh, get some footage for this chest and tricep workout I'll probably do some shoulders in there too um, yeah, but this summer I'm trying to trying to stay lean, trying to have that beach body. Um, and yeah, you guys might say, well, you're always lean, but I'm trying to put on muscle but stay lean. So really kind of a slow bulk almost. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this slow bulk or uh, this kind of summer into any kind of series or anything. I could, I could make it into a series so you guys kind of have something to follow, but I don't really see myself ending, ending this uh, slow bulk really, unless I am prepping for a show, which I'm not right now, and honestly, um, all series usually come to an end, so I might just continue on with these vlogs, but we'll see. More than, more than likely, I'll probably just continue on with these vlogs. Um, yeah, so about to go get this workout in. Got my C4, like always. And um, I'll see you guys in the gym. All right, here we are vlogging it up. Starting off my workout with some incline chest press. And honestly, until I was able to see myself do some incline barbell presses from this angle. I didn't really notice how much of an imbalance I had in my shoulders. My right shoulder is obviously not as flexible as my left. I had some shoulder problems in high school. I dislocated it playing football. I've had problems with it over the past three years. It's healed up pretty well. I've rehabbed it pretty well over the past, I'd say, eight months or so. And I really have not had any problems with it, but I do notice that it is not as it is not as flexible as my left, and that's something that I'm definitely going to want to work on over the next couple months is to really work on that shoulder flexibility. Here in these inclined dumbbell presses, it's really going to be obvious that I don't have a lot of flexibility with that right shoulder, and it's kind of weird that I haven't been able to notice this until looking at it from this angle. But as you can see, my right shoulder is not letting my arm go as far down as my left. And because of that, 
that's just going to lead to an imbalance in my chest and then I'm not going to be proportional and as a bodybuilder, as somebody who wants to compete in physique, as somebody who does, um, that is working on building a portfolio for, portfolio for fitness modeling, that is something that I'm really going to have to take care of because proportion is everything. So here we have some incline uh, cable flies. This isn't really a great angle for it. You can't see how high I have those arms. I do have them a little bit higher than uh, shoulder height. That way I can bring the cables down. I'm not doing a good job of squeezing each rep, but when you come down, you want to make sure that you bring that weight down. That last rep was good. You want to bring that weight down and you want to squeeze. You really want to, uh, time under tension is huge on that exercise, and you really want to uh, squeeze it out and keep that chest under um, a lot of stress throughout the entire workout. Here I'm just doing some tricep push downs with the rope and this is more or less just a warm up exercise where I'm able to warm up those elbows for the rest of my tricep uh, workout and oh, there you can see I'm still pretty small but this exercise makes me look even smaller. I have no chest, I have no triceps, my arms look tiny, my traps don't look very good. But it's weird because as soon as I switch to the other side, you're going to see that I actually look kind of swole from the other side, but from this side, I look tiny. But what I was saying about uh, the warm-up for the triceps, uh, rope push-downs is a great exercise to warm up those elbows for the rest of your tricep workout. Um, I cut a lot of my tricep workout out of this footage just because I didn't want a video that was 10 minutes long. But I am showing you guys a couple... A couple great workouts to really put that uh, tricep under some stress and uh, really help it to grow a little bit. And this next workout I'm going to be showing you guys here is a superset that you can do anywhere. It's great to do um, whether you're at home, whether you're traveling. All you really need is a chair or some kind of object that. Um, you can place your feet on and keep your feet elevated so you will be working your upper chest. So as you can see here I keep my feet up, I get into a push-up position and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing push-ups. If push-ups are easy you're going to be doing clapping push-ups just like I'm doing right here and what you do is you just crank them out until you can't do them anymore. I think I got 10 or 11 and then as soon as you hit failure on your clapping push-ups, then you crank out some regular push-ups, just like that. And as soon as you finish that up, you get back into the chair, and you're going to be doing some uh, dips. And these, you just crank them out until you can't do any more. I think I got 12 of these, but these are just going to be great for your triceps and your shoulders. And those incline push-ups are great for your shoulders, great for your chest. And uh, that wraps up this commentary for the workout. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so I just got done at the gym. And I was mixing up my protein powder, just my Cellucor way. Mixing it up, some guy comes and asks me, he's like, hey, it's like, what kind of, what kind of steroids are you taking? And I, I looked at him, I was like, um, it's protein. He's like, Pro what do you mean? It's like, it's a protein supplement. It's basically a food replacement, something you take after your workouts to help build your muscles back up. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, that's interesting, never heard about that before. You gotta be kidding me, dude's never heard of protein. Yesterday, I get done working, or I was getting ready to work out, and I was drinking my pre-workout and then I go start working out and I was doing uh, some face pulls with uh, the tricep rope working my rear delts some guy comes over he's like hey man I saw you drinking something earlier he's like it's like what's what are you taking and I said C4 he's like is that banned I said no it's it's pre-workout he's like so like a, like a steroid and I was like no I was like, no, it's just like a, it's like a caffeine supplement, basically. It's just gonna give you energy to work out. And he's like, oh, okay. 
it blows my mind that people here in Florida think everything's a steroid. Which, le which leads me to believe that either one, people in Florida have no idea about supplements, or two, everybody in Florida takes steroids. It's got to be one of those two. But I just thought it was funny how two days in a row now people are asking me if I take steroids. And I'm freaking skinny as all get out, but it makes no sense.